So by now, you've probably heard of the AI software, ChatGPT. Now, if you're like me, you probably use this for your everyday life. I use it for things like meal prepping, grocery list setting, scheduling, ideas, and a plethora of other things. And as a photographer, oftentimes I'll put ideas in there and say, hey, can you help me come up with some new ideas for my photography? So today I really wanted to put it to the test and see if AI is as good as us as humans to create artistic things, more particularly Lightroom presets. That sounds some, like something very fascinating to me. So basically what I did is I headed on over to ChatGPT and I typed in, hey, can you create a moody Lightroom? Well, actually, let's go ahead and be a little bit more specific here. Landscape Lightroom preset for me. And then I just simply hit enter. Now we'll see if it works this time because the last time that I put this in, yeah, it's actually doing it a little bit better this time. So what it's giving me is the different uh, settings that I need to change to make this moody. Now I will say this time it's not doing quite as well because the last time it had everything from where I needed to put the contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, and all those things with the actual sliders being in a certain number. So plus 10, minus 20. It's not as detailed this go around, but thankfully, I've already went into Lightroom and put in the preset that it originally gave me. So you can play around with these things in ChatGPT and see what it comes up with for you. And while we're on the topic of free resources, let's talk about SignatureEdits.com. So I actually got all the photos you're going to see today at SignatureEdits.com. I will be putting the tags of the photographers up on the screen as I'm editing those particular photos because that's one of the things you have to do here. So if you're looking for a variety of photos to test this on, maybe in a realm that you don't have, whether that's street photography or portraiture, I particularly do mostly landscapes. So what I really wanted to see here was how these edits could work with this preset with people in the frame. And I don't always have that, or do I really want to always show my clients here on YouTube? Without further ado, let's hop into Lightroom. So what I downloaded was a variety of different photos. We could see that there's a couple here in the forest. There's a lady in a room that's not necessarily a landscape. And then there's a guy a little bit in a darker landscape. So I think this is kind of going to more fit that moody feel, but we'll see. So for reference, I actually have a series of presets that I created here, and one of these I have is called Mood Fade. So basically the way this Mood Fade works is I just kind of created some fading, kind of took the blacks out a little bit. Now this is just a preset, so it's a starting point. So obviously I'm going to have to edit certain features of this to kind of get it to have more of that look and feel that's going to create that moody look. So a quick before and after of the raw image on the left and my moody preset on the right. But now let's see how AI did. So what I have here is the chat GPT Moody preset. We're going to go ahead and click on it. And that's honestly uh, pretty flat. Now, one thing that chat GPT did tell me is that there are going to be edits we have to make. Well, duh, that's what we got to do with presets. You can't just apply a preset to a photo and think it works. Now, I will say that a side by side comparison here, it's done a pretty good job. It's creating that Moody element here. But there needs to be some more work done. Like, I think there could be some more contrast. Maybe we could add in some texture, pull away from the clarity, maybe even take away from or add to the dehaze a little bit. And so you could see it's improving greatly from the original to what we have now. So the AI has not done too bad of a job, but maybe we want to pull the highlights back even more, pull the shadows up just a tiny bit. We'll pull the whites back and pull the blacks up. Maybe we'll even make this a little bit cooler but we can actually go in and make those changes. So now let's move on to another image. So let's pull in this girl here. I think this is going to work a lot better. So again, let's look at my mood fade. It's definitely too warm, but we can easily fix that by pulling down this slider. Take a look at a quick before and after, and that's kind of got a pretty good moody, gritty look to it. But let's see how AI can handle this situation. Let's apply the chat GPT moody preset. Uh, that's actually pretty lackluster. But again, this is kind of a starting point. I think with just a couple of moves of the slider, we can kind of fix this, make it look a little bit better. So let's just kind of pull these sliders around and see what we end up with. So that's really not awful. When you look at the side-by-side -side comparison, so here's with the preset on, and then here's what it looked like before that. So again, it has done pretty well at this. Now, it doesn't look that great starting off but then again 
not all presets are. So if we look at, say, my Moody preset on this one, you know, that doesn't look the best. It's still got a lot of editing to do. Now let's see what we can do with the ChatGPT Moody preset. So if we click on that and add it, it doesn't really look like anything happened, but then again, mine didn't either. So we'll go ahead and add in a little bit of a look here. Probably gonna work on our white balance. That seems to be a little bit off. So it's looking better. I don't think it's necessarily as good as mine, but it's not awful. So let's go ahead and make a few more adjustments and make this a little bit stronger. And yeah, that's not the worst. So the thing is, AI can be as good or as bad as we make it out to be. I think there's a lot of things that need to be kind of left to the side with AI softwares right now. But I just wanted you to know that ChatGPT can be a very powerful tool. Contrary to popular belief, ChatGPT is not just a way for college students to write their papers. It is so many more things. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I use this for meal prepping. If you know really how to use ChatGPT in a productive way, it's going to make your life a lot easier and be very beneficial to you. Maybe it's not the strongest thing in the world to help you create presets. However, if you use it and look and see what it's telling you to create these presets, especially if you're new to creating your own, it at least will give you a good starting point and help you get an understanding of what's happening so you can go in and edit these and then create your own. But hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, be sure to create something new today.